round 3 of season 11 of Platinum Class here at the Circuit de Monaco in Monte Carlo in the Principality of Monaco. Looks to be all improving. Final corner hits the DRS to the line. Is this pole? He improves to a wow! A 108.313, and that is definitely the quickest one I've ever seen um, from any of the drivers here tonight. I don't know if anyone's challenging that. Unbelievable. And the lights go on now. We've got three, four, five lights watching aboard from Vapor Possession and P4. Ooh, it's a little bit of a slow start from Babuki. Secret is going to get ahead right away. It looks like Vapor Possession is going to jump in front of him as well just before turn one. They're side by side going through Saint Devon. They're still side by side going through Beau Rivage and into Massonet right now. But uh, Vapor Possession actually gives the place to Babuki in front of him. Uh, so that is a little bit of a of an interesting move there. And it was very, very tight at the start. The Zmanian Devil still in front. Secret right behind him with Bamboo in third. Vapor Possession in fourth. And uh, yeah, that was not a very good start from Bamboo. Losing a spot right off the start there. Everybody's making their way through the hairpin right now. We've got a couple of cars side by side. That's Chatty Duck and GTR Lion. Chatty Duck gets that position. He's up into 10th. He doesn't have any visible damage on the front wing from where I can uh, look. Oh, and he's hit the wall again through Saint Devot, and now that's most likely going to give him at least a lime green wing there. And he's also coming under attack from KGB Black Angel, but most uh, crucially, Vapor Passassin is able to get himself up into third place because of that incident. Here. We got Chatty on uh, Joshua, turn one. Oh, there's a wing damage from Chatty. Hits the wall in turn one, and he's going to have to pit from a broken front wing. Uh, he's got GTR behind him. He's got to watch out because the Alpha hits the wall and be easy to come back on track. Very tight through that section, but they get through pretty well. Run away and put on a huge gap between himself and Tasmanian Devil. Oh, and look, a little bit of touching on the rear end of Tasmanian Devil there from Sequent. So he is really pushing to try and make this overtake work. He's going to be trying to make it right now. He's going to go around the outside into turn one. It's going to be super tight on the exit. Oh, and there's big damage. There's big contact between the two of them. I'm not sure if they got damage. Yeah, definitely. Tasmanian Devil is missing an end plate on the left-hand side of his car. But uh, it looks like Sequent got away with that one with no damage and now he's pushing again he's pushing on the rear end they're coming into Mirabeau oh my goodness Sequin here really putting on some huge amounts of pressure on Tasmania right now both of them block up Sequin touches the wall through the hairpin goes into neutral oh my goodness they're starting to lose that concentration that I was talking about yeah. Taz is making a move on Jippo for the for the lead of the race Jippo staying out on those mediums but it looks like Taz is gonna do it up into Casino and uh, very tight but yet yeah, Taz makes the move on the McLaren driver so yeah moves up to P1 said uh, for P3 have Sequit and uh, Vapor Assassin uh, right on the back door he's knocking Sequit he's on the medium tire he's looking for a move here in the front stretch he's gonna have DRS and man look at everyone else behind him he's got KGB who also got Bambuki so we got a nice little battle here Secret defense into turn one. Vapor on the outside. Is he going to hold it? These guys don't make as much contact as it was with Taz and Secret, but Vapor moving up to Casino up the hill. Nicely done, but still side by side, and the Renault is going to edge him out barely. Looking on a move on the Red Bull driver. It's going to be a really side nice. Side by side through the inside. tunnel. Oh my goodness. Nice. And he gets it done without a penalty as well. It looks like he cut the sh chicane maybe, but no. It no penalty there, so it was actually a really nice move. He's uh, a little bit of a comeback drive from Sequit. Oh, we have a no! VSC. Massive what incident! Happened? FYKV! Oh. Try to stay with him. He might make a mistake. He could still regain the position. Are you okay? That was a nasty hit. Turn the engine off and wait for the marshals. I've come to talk with you again. Because of vision softly creeping Left it seems while I was sleeping 
He's got to be careful not to overthink where he can break and maybe... Oh, and a GT right in. And he picked some damage up. Hitting the back of Jippo. I think Jippo might have been trying to let GT by or he might have just braked a lot earlier just to make sure he could slow the car down and uh, Jippo, uh, GT rather hit the back of him. Now Stanley is going <laughs> to get the, the go-ahead here for P5. Looks like uh, he's going to do it. So Med, he's really putting on a performance here. Starting P17, missing qualifying. And he is sitting P6 at the moment. Here was going through to back in the last couple of corners here in just a moment. But what a dominant drive. This is going to be win number three in season 11 out of three rounds. 100% win record for Tasmanian Devil in this season. And also a fourth win in a row from season 10 up until now. Tasmanian Devil is your winner here tonight in the Monaco Grand Prix.